Hey everyone, this is Jeremy from Gamertel, and today's short video is for my Android gaming people out there. Uh, we all know how complicated and annoying it is trying to play a first person shooter or some other kind of action game using touchscreen controls because no matter how hard the developers try, it's just very, very hard to emulate an actual controller on a touchscreen. But there are ways around it. Uh, you can connect a Bluetooth controller to your smartphone or tablet, or if you prefer the wired route and just don't want to spend a lot of money, you can get one of these babies right here. This is a USB OTG cable. OTG stands for on the go. You can pick up something like this for as little as a dollar if you want to buy it from Amazon, but it'll be shipped from China, so it'll take a long time to get there. Or you can go on eBay like I did, and I bought one of these outright for under $4 shipped, and it got to me within a few days. And what this allows you to do in your Android device, if you're running Android 4.0 or above, in some cases below Android 4.0, it just depends on your device, you connect this end to the... Uh, micro USB port in your device and on this end is a full-sized female USB 2.0 connector so when you plug this into your device and then you can plug something like an Xbox 360 controller into the other end you will be able to control your game so let me turn this back on and I'm just gonna do that right now and play a little bit of deck trigger so I am going to connect this to my Nexus 7, plug that in, and then I'm going to connect the Xbox 360 controller. And you see it's lit up right there. Controller is a little bit dirty. We'll try not to let that get in the way. And as you can see, as I move the analog stick, it's moving and it's selecting things. Um, not the best way to navigate. I still like to start up the game by touching it and let's jump into Dead Trigger. The, you don't have to have a rooted device or anything like that. You just plug this thing in and it just works. Um, it will not double as USB mass storage though unfortunately. So uh, as far as connecting flash drives to your tablet and um, expecting to expand storage that way, it won't work unless you're rooted. Okay, so let's try something here. Let's just go to a regular kill them all difficulty. We're saying bye bye touchscreen controls and hello to controller zombie killing. So um, in Dead Trigger, which you can do, let me press pause, you can set it up to uh, customize your gamepad to your liking so I can customize the gamepad here and that's exactly what I've done for it to be more comfortable with uh, with how I play first-person shooters uh, yeah save all and exit yeah, and resume and let's go so I'm just holding in the left uh, trigger to aim if you want to aim and the right triggers to shoot I've got X to reload. See, there's some more guys right there. Oh god. I'm looking at this through the camera, so it's not the most accurate that I can be. And there's 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 no lag. It feels good, you know, it just feels like you're just using a controller. And at least for me, it's made me uh, a lot better in this game. Because I'm not fiddling with controls, although these guys do still sneak up on you like that. Just nuts. And I can switch weapons if I press uh, the left bumper or the right bumper. That's, oh god, that, that guy. Die. That's how I change weapons. I can aim. Shoot them like that if I want. And yeah, if, if, you're, if you're playing an Android game that supports uh, gamepad controls, you can just buy this simple OTG, USB OTG cable and have at it. It's, extre it's extremely simple, it's well worth your money and it makes games a lot more enjoyable otherwise. So yeah, that's really all I wanted to show you today. So uh, go ahead and find yourself one of these cables if you're looking to add a little controller support to your Android smartphone or tablet. Oh god, he's gonna eat me. So uh, before I die, I'll just sign off here. I am Jeremy from Gamertel, and I'll see you in the next video.